Okay, good morning. Thank you. I'm sorry, I will be speaking English. It is the only language that I know how to speak. So, I was asked to talk about the future of Joomla, and I guess to give you a little bit of history on why I would want to talk about the future of Joomla is maybe I can give you a little bit of my background and what I do with Joomla. So, I started working with Joomla when it was not called Joomla, before Joomla days. Um, and I used it pretty much to develop websites for clients. Um, but as time passed um, and Joomla began to come around, thank you, I got more involved with it. And it started out learning it myself. And then as I went along, I um, started to get more involved in the community itself. And recently, I became the community development manager for Joomla. And so that means a really long title. And all I do is I get to talk to people all the time, all over the world. And so I travel, um, and I visit events like this at Joomla Days. And I get to interact with people and kind of get a feel for the community and what everybody wants to see Joomla do. So that kind of is one aspect of why maybe I can talk a little bit about the future of Joomla. Um, the other side of what I do is um, working with the code itself. Um, I'm on the production leadership team now, as of recently. So that team is in charge of the code and the release cycles and things like that. So I work a lot with the code. Um, in fact, I've written quite a few extensions. I've written stuff for Joomla core. Um, and I also work with the framework. And because it's early in the morning, and you guys probably aren't super interested, just kidding, you all want to be here. You all want to hear this. How many of you know what the Joomla framework is? If you can raise your hand so I know. Sweet, that's awesome. OK, so the Joomla framework is really cool, and I enjoy working on it a lot. Um, I have written several applications on it. And in fact, shameless plug, I have a session later to talk about building on the framework. Um, so if you're interested in that, uh, definitely come to that session, and we can talk more about it there. So because of my role with the community, and because of my role with the code, um, often I'm asked, well, what, what's coming next? What's, what's Joomla going to do next? So I replaced our typical exclamation mark, the bang at the end of Joomla with a question mark. Because really that's kind of what we're looking at here is what's ahead with Joomla. So goals for the future. What are some of the goals for the future? This would be the biggest one, right? World domination. We want to take over the globe with Joomla. We want it to be the one, the only CMS system that exists. And everyone should use it for everything. No, no. Not really, right? Because honestly, you want the right tool for the job. And maybe that is not always Joomla. Now, don't throw stones. But in some cases, there may be another CMS that's more appropriate. So we don't necessarily want world domination, but it sure would be nice. And we really have an amazing community all over the world. So in that aspect, we really are seeking to expand um, Joomla's presence all over. So what do we need to recognize as we start looking at the future? Well, the first thing we need to do is to recognize our own name and get others to recognize that name. Because the first step in world domination is for everybody to know who you are. So we want to spread that name of Joomla through Joomla Day events like this, through local outreaches, um, just spreading what Joomla is. And it's not just a CMS anymore. So that's the key, is we don't want to come across as, oh, it's just a content management system that you use to build a website. Um, nowadays, Joomla is so much more than that. Um, people build entire businesses on Joomla, doing more than just putting together a website. We need to recognize what the problems are. We need to say, OK, don't blindly assume that everything in Joomla is perfect. We don't have the perfect CMS. 
And I don't think anybody in any position in Joomla or even in the community would say, no, Joomla is perfect. It's not. Nobody's perfect, and we all have our issues and we all have our problems. The key is to recognize what those problems are and determine the best way to solve them. So we need to get our name out there so our name is recognized. We need to recognize what our problems are and how we're going to solve those problems. And, and this is the tricky one, we need to know what's coming next. Not in Joomla, but just in technology in general. And obviously that's a bit impossible. We have no way of knowing what next year is going to have, um, what we're going to work with next, what technology is going to be available. Such a cool movie. If you guys haven't seen Minority Report, very cool movie. So we have to always try to stay on the edge, the cutting edge of technology. And I was actually talking with some people here last night about that. And it's tricky because we want to stay on that cutting edge. We want to write software that's using the most modern stuff that's available. But at the same time, we don't want to forget what we've learned. And we don't want to forget or lose those users that have been using Joomla from 1.0, 1.5, 2.5. As 3.5 comes around, we want to make sure that we don't forget and we don't lose those users that were using the older versions. So it's a tricky little subject. So we recognize what our goal is, world domination. We recognize things that we need to look at and focus on. So what are the steps to success? We have to think big. We have to think, OK, we see the problems. We have an idea what might be coming in technology. How can we make Joomla accomplish that? What can we do to write the software? What can we dream up that's going to make this software better than other software? That's going to make it more user friendly, going to make it easier and more fun to use. And the key is to just to, to dream, right? To, to have a good time, to enjoy it, and to think crazy wild thoughts because you never know that might be that next key feature of the next version of Joomla. Once we've got our dreams and what we would love to see in the perfect world, um, then we actually need to plan. Then we need to sit down and say, okay, what can we legitimately add? What can we write? What do we have time to get involved with? And what can we plan out and structure? So that once we've dreamed it up, then we need to put it down on paper or into the computer. We need to share it with others and we need to plan out how can we accomplish it. And then we actually have to just go about creating it. Because once we've thought it up and once we've planned it out, then comes the fun part of actually getting to write it. And that is fun. I love writing code. And if you get to talk to me, I'm a complete geek. You will see me. I give two more sessions today, and both of them are, are on coding. I love to talk about code. I can talk about it all day long with you. If you've got code questions, come and talk to me about it. I don't have all the answers by any means, but I love to talk about it anyways. So the global approach. If we want world domination, we have to look globally, right? And I always struggled with that concept. How do we market globally? And how do we effectively dominate the world on a global scale? And then it hit me. Well, what is the global community? It's a lot of local communities added together. So instead of trying to think in these abstract terms of, OK, how are we going to reach the world with Joomla, what I realized is what we need to do is focus on the communities. We need to focus on the local communities and growing Joomla in those local communities. And as a result, our global market begins to change. So for the future, we want to focus on those local communities. We want to get more users recognizing the name of Joomla, more users contributing, more users wanting to be involved on a local level with what Joomla is. Because Joomla can feel big. It, I mean, it's, we're huge. Overall, on the global scale, it's a massive organization. 
And to newcomers, to, to people that are not familiar with it, it can be extremely challenging to feel like, how do I get involved? Where do I get started? But if we focus on the local communities instead, it's a much smaller user group. It's much easier to find ways in which you can get involved. And stay connected. Because not, not just do we want to be involved with our local user group, not just do we want to see the future of Joomla and how it's going to come about, but we want to stay connected continually, ongoing, because the best way to learn is through communication with others. The best way to realize what's going to work best in every location is to be communicating between those. So, and that's one of the things that I get to see when I travel. I get to speak with people in all different cultures and communities and hear what's important about Joomla to them. Because we can make Joomla better all over if we can figure out what each individual community and how we're all connected, what's going to work best. And lastly, we have to do something. We don't just think about it. We don't just plan it. We don't just create individually. We don't just connect with people and, and just talk, because that's fun, and talking is great, but we actually have to do something. We have to commit to something. Commit to the project and figure out ways in which we can get involved. So I've kind of given you this grand scale of what we want to do. More than likely, you're more interested in knowing what's the future of Joomla, what's new, what new features coming out. So here's some specific items that we're looking at for the future of Joomla. That is actually not true. This list right here of the future of Joomla is not the future of Joomla. This is more like next week of Joomla. This alone is stuff for Joomla 3.2. This, all of these features are just what we're doing for 3.2 of Joomla. And that's coming out, hopefully, with just a couple weeks. We're at an alpha release right now. So you can actually download and see these features in action. So the point then is, it is the future of Joomla. These are new stuff that we're adding in. And I put a lot of different stuff up here, which things like the install from web. How many of you have seen the install from web option that's in the alpha release? OK. It's very cool. So I'm going to take just two seconds and explain it to you. And I can talk about some of the other ones, too, if you want. But the install from web is a pretty cool feature because what you can do is when you go to the extension manager and you go to the install section, Across the top, you've got upload file, install from URL, install from directory, and install from web. And with the install from web, you can click on it. It will give you a list of the popular ones straight from the Joomla extension directory, a search field, and all the categories from the JED Joomla extension directory. And you can search and find extensions directly from the admin panel of your Joomla website, click on one, and install it directly in your site. You don't have to go to the JED. You don't have to download it from a developer site. It's all directly located on your Joomla install right there on your admin panel. It's super sweet. It's very cool. So, and you can check that out right now in the alpha version. But that's just one thing. Personally, I'm a big fan of the two-factor authorization. How many of you use two-factor authorization with some other service? Oh, guys. Two-factor authorization is really, really important from a security perspective because it protects your information. So if you have secure passwords, it's more than just having a nice long password that's really hard for you to remember because you might not be able to remember it, but the computer and the brute force attack methods, they'll find it really fast. Two-factor authorization is a really cool tool to make sure that your admin panel of your Joomla site is extra secure. Um, and I can talk more about that one-on-one -on -one or after this presentation. Um, but we're one of the first CMSs to actually implement it. Uh, Google uses it. A lot of the big corporations use two-factor authorization um, because it adds an extra level of security. And Joomla is incorporating that in 3.2. So it's very, very cool. So really, we've got content versioning. So you can actually see previous versions of an article and you can see what the differences were. You can roll back to it. Um, it's really handy. 
So there's, there's a lot that's going on. This is the future of Joomla, but this is also the present of Joomla. And, and that's the key. There's so many different things happening so frequently, so often in Joomla that the future is really upon us before we even get to it, it's, even though it's just out of reach all the time. Um, Joomla is constantly changing, constantly growing. And so the question is, well, what comes next? What comes after that? And what do we do from here? And what's the next thing we want to look at? So if you're interested, there's a roadmap on the developer site. You can go here and you can see a list of global big ideas that we want to see Joomla do. Um, it's not a complete list. And I hate to disappoint, but it doesn't have time or dates on it either. Because what we have is a, a grand idea of what we want to see accomplished and, and big ideas that we want to see Joomla do, but not necessarily within, an, within any specific time frame. So the roadmap is a great tool, but again, we're not talking about detailed specifics. Because if you talk about detailed specifics, what is the future of Joomla? The key to the whole thing? You decide. Because it doesn't matter if we write it on a roadmap. It doesn't matter if we dream big and come up with something, or if you dream big and come up with something. What matters is what we get people to decide to work on and get involved in. And so the future of Joomla really comes down to what you want the future of Joomla to be and how you want to get involved with Joomla and the Joomla project. Because we're all just volunteers. We're doing this because we love the software, because it works for us, because we make a lot of money with it, right? <laughs> no, because we care about Joomla and because we care about creating an environment, a product maybe, but we care about this community and we see a lot of potential in what we can do. And it's incredibly empowering to know that you can be involved with something that's so much bigger than yourself. And, and you can contribute to something that's more than just you working on your own. It's, it's not just a community. What we have with Joomla is, is so much more. It's really a family, right? We have so many friends and, and connections with people all over the globe. And so the future of Joomla, I can spout off all sorts of, this is the future of Joomla, we want to do this, we want to do that. But really what it comes down to, the future of Joomla, is what do you want the future of Joomla to be? How do you want to get involved with Joomla? How do you want to change what Joomla is doing now? And how do you want to shape what Joomla is going to be? So thank you very much for your time.